Welcome back, I'm Lai. Will there be internet on Mars? Well, let's talk about that in this week's episode of Minute Friday. The short answer is yes, but the ways to achieve it require a little bit more explanation. I will be simplifying things in this video, so let's start with the technologies needed. Modern internet consists of two big components, servers that store information and the related infrastructures that connect our devices to those servers. On Earth, we have all kinds of possibilities to choose from. Cable internet, DSL internet, fiber internet. But none of those would work on Mars because there is nothing to connect to. There are no servers on Mars. However, lucky for us, we have a remote solution. Satellite internet. With satellites flying over Martian surface, they can receive and redirect information between Earth and Mars. Initially, there won't be many people living on Mars. One satellite flying in the aerial stationary orbit over our Martian base will suffice. As more and more people travel to Mars, more satellites will be needed. However, traditional satellite technology is not good enough. Conventional satellite uses radio frequencies for transmission, but since Mars is too far away, information on Earth need to be sent by concentrated light beams. Therefore, light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation technology need to be used. Another name for that is laser. Laser theoretically has better performance over long distances. So far, we have already demonstrated this capability with the famous Galileo probe. According to this paper, laser communication will be 10 to 1,000 times better than traditional radio frequency satellites in terms of performance. At this point, we'll be able to communicate with our families on Earth freely. Then we'll be presented with another hurdle, the speed of light. You see, this has never been a problem on Earth because Earth is so small. 12,000 kilometers in diameter is small comparing to the speed of light, which is 300,000 kilometers per second. This means light can reach every corner on Earth in a matter of seconds. However, Mars is different. The minimum distance between Earth and Mars is 54.6 million kilometers. And when Mars is on the other side of the Sun, it could be as far as 400 million kilometers away. Therefore, it takes between 3 to 22 minutes for a piece of information to travel from Earth to Mars in the speed of light. When we're surfing the internet on Earth, it takes a fraction of a second to retrieve a piece of information. But imagine opening up a YouTube tab on Mars and the website appears only after 3 to 22 minutes. Then you want to watch the latest video of Curious Elephant and again, it takes another 3 to 22 minutes for that video to start. Not an ideal situation, is it? This is the last hurdle we have to cross if we want high-speed internet on Mars. The way to overcome that is to build an entire separate set of infrastructures including servers and backbones on Mars. At that time, internet on Mars will be working independently and therefore the problem we set out today is solved. Alright I'm Lei, I had a lot of fun making this one, hope you guys enjoyed this video too. Follow me on my social media if you'd like to talk, I'll catch you guys next Friday.